today. This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I met Mary at the bus stop yesterday. He published his book only in Italy. They sat on the floor to watch TV. In this lesson, we're going to look at prepositions of place, at, in, and on. So stay tuned. How many times have you thought about which preposition to use? Well, it's important that you learn the verb plus the preposition. For example, I went to Japan last year. I went to, so I go to. I stayed in Japan for a month. Stay in. So I learned the verb plus the preposition. If you wish to watch a lesson on prepositional verbs, you may click here. Now, let's concentrate on these prepositions, prepositions of place, at, in, and on. I listed some rules to follow. The first one, at. At, we use it for an exact point. My example was, I met Mary at the bus stop. So this is, let's imagine, a bus stop right here, and I'm standing there. I met her at the bus stop. So we also can say, I met her at the corner or at the door, at the door of a neighbor, at the end of the road, for example. Now, we also use at with public spaces or buildings. So, I met her at university, I met her at the cinema, or I met her at the library. We can say also without the, without the article the, at hospital. We also use at for events. So, we can also say with I met Mary, I met Mary at the party. Or I met Mary at the concert. Or at the wedding, I met her at the wedding. There are some expressions that use at. These are, not all of them, but some are. At home, we don't use the article the. So, at home, we say. Or at the top, or at the bottom. Or at the table. I sat at the table in front of you. At the side, etc., etc. Let's look at in. In is used for enclosed space, so we sound, including countries. Like my example, he published his book only in Italy, in Italy, in France, in Russia, in Canada, in the US, in a box, in a building, so enclosed space. Some means of transport with some. In a car, a car is usually small, right? So, in a car, in a helicopter, in a ship, in the lift, or if you want to be American, in the elevator. Elevator is the same as lift. With expressions, in the sky, in the sky, there are many birds. In Main Street, pay attention because if you had a number in 58 Main Street, it wouldn't be in 58 Main Street, but on 58 Main Street. So, in takes only the name of the street. In Main Street. On 58 Main Street. In the newspaper. In the mirror. I looked in the mirror. In the picture, in the world, in their world, there are many people who speak English. Let's take a look at on. On for surface. It could be horizontally or vertically. They sat on the floor. They sat on the floor. Or there is a sign on the door. Or on the ceiling, there is a fan on the ceiling. On the table, okay, on the table, 
There are many glasses. So with means of transport, on the bus, we say, on the train, on the plane, on a horse, on a horse, and on a bike. Expressions, expressions that take on. On the radio, I heard it on the radio. On TV, I watched it on TV. On the way, on the way to work, I met Mary. On the right, on the left. On the river, on the sea, etc. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at prepositions of place, at, in, and on. Use at for an exact point, public spaces or buildings, and events. Use in instead for an enclosed space and some means of transport. Use on for a surface and for some means of transport too. Remember the fixed expressions, at home, at hospital, in the mirror, in the picture, on the radio, on TV. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any doubts, any comments, or if you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. Don't forget to share the lesson if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so next week you'll get a new lesson. Having said that, have a great day, and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.